fabulous humans welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here then well hello how you doing welcome you just slipped into the most fabulous place on youtube and i'm so happy to have you here now that i have you here before you get relaxed you get all comfortable because i know it's november so i know it's cold where you're at and you're looking for shelter <sighs> before you can come over here and chill with us there's a couple of things you need to do you need to subscribe to the channel become part of the glitter and glam squad so we can shine together and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always be notified when i upload a new video and when you add it hit the thumbs up button so youtube knows that little me i need a little shiny 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 yeah Ooh, all of this winnings. Oh, all of this winnings in this YouTube streets, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me, and I truly appreciate you, you, and you. Thank you. Now, today's video is all about the month of November. This is my November tray video. My tray is heavy, heavy on it. And um, these are fragrances that I have already started wearing this month in November because you know we're already in November and the fragrances that I'm still looking forward to you know wearing so if you want to know what those fragrances are then go grab yourself a warm drink you know me I'll be fancy with my fancy cup so go grab yourself a drink come right back and let's just get into the month of November I'm waiting hurry up that night I said I was recording late I wasn't recording late I was just smoking chilling at a couple drinks now before we get into the meat and potatoes you know high heels on my tippies fancy and buxom gloss that's on my lippy let me tell you first of all i don't care what the grammy says um high heels on my tippy is iconic and ftcu should have gotten a grammy nomination well <sighs> this is in the shade serena and this is in the shade cookie jar and i kind of mixed them up together and that's what's on my lippy today now let's get into um november so i was putting down the fragrances that you know i'm gonna be wearing in the month of you know november and then and then i got a call <laughs> from melanie hey melanie she's a gorgeous 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 sis she's a subby here and um I got a call from her and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to record. I'm trying to put together my November tray video. And she goes, what's on your tray? Because I tried to tell her, so I told her what was on my tray. She's like, yeah, put something else. <laughs> She's like, I want your November to be fragrances that you haven't talked about in a while. I'm like, bring them out so I can fall in love with the fragrances again. I said, you know what? That's true. I need to see, go through my collection, look through my fall stuff, see what I haven't worn in a while. She's like six months or a year. I know you got something out there. You should put them in November and get to wear your fragrances and enjoy them. So I took her advice. Although <laughs> I have a couple that I couldn't let go of. So kicking off the countdown, is my honorable mention that I couldn't let go of in the month of November. And um, let's just go ahead and talk about it. Amore Cafe, I will always wear it. <laughs> and this is kicking off. This is the honorable mention because this is one that I've been talking about and I just can't let it go. And it's coffee, it's ice cream, vanilla. It's just, it's delicious. It's delicious. I love it. I love it. It's not a unique scent, but I love it. So it will be on the tray. Even if it's not on the tray, it will still be worn. I will still reach for it. I will still grab it. I just love to spray it. Fun fact, I haven't worn it outside, outside. I just like to spray it and then I just love it. And then I'm like going about my day. So um, Amore Cafe is honorable mention and it's actually going to kick off the video. Now let's get into the real tray. Well, that's the real tray. <laughs> <laughs> the first fragrance um, in November that is on the tray that I have not worn in months is a fragrance that um, is a flex for me because I feel like nobody, a lot of people don't have it. A lot of the girls don't have it. And if you don't, you know, if you're new here, um, one of the things we do over here is, you know, we like to, you know, we like to flex. Sometimes you just need to flex on the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, we like to get stuff that, you know, the girls don't have. They're not talking about it, you know. We just like to do stuff like that. So I pulled this to add in my November tray. And this I'm excited about. And this is, see, I told you, ain't nobody have it. People do have it, but this is by Panadora Sweden. 
and this is called Imperia Wood. I used to talk about this in 16 Heavy last year, and it's good for fall and winter. This smells really, really good. It's very woody, very spicy, and oud. <laughs> you know there's oud. And I haven't worn it in a while, and I love the bottle. It reminds me of Pentalegons, but I think that theirs has a little bit of an edge. And um, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite bottles because it's so creative and different. In here, in the top notes, you get tobacco, you get spicy notes, you get thyme. And in the middle notes, you get cinnamon, you get cacao, you get cardamom, you get cloves, you get olibanum. And in the base, you get oud, amber, leather, and incense. This is really good. And I'm like, wow, why haven't I thought about it? <sighs> very spicy and woody and i love it so um kicking off november i will be um playing with my imperial woods more 16 to me smells like sweetia oud so since i already own sweetia oud 16 i put it for my husband but um i don't know if that scent profile is for him maybe it's just for me i'm gonna go grab it again my number two november fragrance is a newbie in my collection that is the most powerful thing right now <laughs> This is Crystal Saffron from Mectir Premier. I love, I love it. I love it. And at first I was like, okay, I think this is, is unisex. I think my husband's gonna like it. He smelt it and he took it. So this fragrance now doesn't belong to me anymore. <laughs> it belongs to him, but uh, we're sharing it. Uh, he likes it and I'm okay with him having it because I think that with him, he likes what he likes. So when he likes something, it's like a win for me because he never likes <laughs> anything. He likes his oud and he's like warm and spicy, oud and rose and he's good. So this one, him loving this, I like that. And this is Crystal Saffron. Now this one is so beast mode. If you spray it, one pump, I'm not gonna spray it because it's gonna take over everything. Like people can smell you. I feel like this fragrance, if you spray it, your neighbor's gonna smell it. They will smell it from the streets. It is so powerful and I don't want to wear it by itself <laughs> all the time, although it can stand alone by itself. So because there's saffron in it, <sighs> Baccarat is out and I have been loving Baccarat lately. I went like a whole year without touching this thing and now I'm like falling back in love with it and I think I need a new bottle. And I'm actually, if I see the biggest size for a good deal, I think I want that one. So I'm low-key eyeing the huge, the big size of Baccarat. I think I would like that and just call it a day. But I've been loving Baccarat lately, but this two together, definitely in November. And um, I have a party I'm going to like tomorrow or next, a couple of days. I think this might be my scent of the day there. If my um, Istanbul by Unique Luxury doesn't arrive, because I was going to wear that, but I looked at the shipping and it says next week, Unique Luxury shipping. Because <sighs> I order all my Unique Luxury directly from the brand. Their shipping be taking over a week. And I'm spoiled because I'm used to Amazon. <laughs> so I wish it came on time because I was going to wear Istanbul to, um, you know, the event. Because it's young, it's fun, it's playful. And it's like a young, fun, playful kind of thing. But yeah. So, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it comes. What if it shows up today? I'll be so excited because um, I just fell in love with it. And I know I have Love Don't Be Shy. I also have um, Ensemble, but they're not the same. There's something about Istanbul that is so good. If you try Istanbul, it's like Love Don't Be Shy Extra. That's what I call it. It's not. It's better than Love Don't Be Shy or right now to me. Better than The Extreme. It's better than Oriana. Like, there's just something about it that I really love, and I would have loved to wear it. Next fragrance on my um, November tray is a fragrance that I received from um, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. She sent me Udmazin by uh, Montal. And um, this is a fig fragrance. It's fig and oud. So I think when she smelled it, she smelled that oud. She... You know how I feel about Montal and this um, nose job that, that Montal has. And this one is not the one you can take off because they're new bottles. You can't really take this one off. So it's fruity. It's oody. You get you get oud at the top. And I think that's why she gave it to me. I'm going to have to hold it like this because it's making too much noise and it's pissing me off. Because she smelt it and said, yeah, um, give it to that girl. <laughs> give it to the lady. She's going to like it because she eats oud. So here you get oud. You get fig, pear. Silicon orange and bergamot at the top. So it's very fruity. In the middle notes, you get patchouli, orris, and jasmine. And in the base, you get grapes, Madagascar vanilla, leather, and musk. I 
am surprised that I really, really like this. At first, I was like, oh, what's this very different? Like, it doesn't smell like anything I have in my collection. And, um, yeah, so I'm putting her out for um, November because I want to play with her more. And I have been liking her. Very unique. Do not blind buy this one. I think that you need to love Fig because Fig is a very tricky note and you also need to love Oud. So if you don't love Fig and you don't like Oud, stay away. <laughs> but I love it. Now, the next fragrance on my um, November tray is a fragrance that I bought. I love it. And um, I feel like maybe I need to wait a little bit or maybe for spring or something. And I just looked at it like, why I need to add it to um, November? This is from one of you, one of my new favorite houses. It's my new favorite house right now. Not my all-time favorite, you know, the newbies. I have two, three new favorite houses right now. I have my OG OG house. And then right now for 2024, this is like my, num it was number one, but Unique Luxury is taking over right now. I've been loving Unique Luxury. This is by Atta Al Haas, and this is called Kamutra. This is like a Middle Eastern style rose. It also reminds me of Kaltar Rose. And you know I loved Kaltar Rose like in the summertime. I was using it a lot. This is so unique. It's so beautiful. It's so different. And I love this one. I can put it on me. Oh, the automizer is great. It's so good. As I splashed it all over me. Oh. And this is so long lasting too. One thing I love about this house is they like to play with black currants. And I love black currants a lot. So here you get black currants, you get watery notes. It's very flowy and watery. And you get pink pepper. In the middle notes, you get cyclamen, you get jasmine, orange blossom, narcissus, and rose. And in the base, you get incense, you get patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, and oud. Oud. <laughs> and benzoin so when i saw the notes i knew i was gonna like it this is so beautiful and um yeah i'm putting it in my in my november tray and um i have a dent already i really enjoy it and um i cannot wait to dive into it heavy now i do want a few from the brand they're sold out <laughs> with discounters and i don't want to pay full price because you guys know um I don't really got it like that. So um, they're like 320, I think. Is it 320 or 280? But they're expensive. <laughs> I'm trying to get a deal. I'm trying to get my magic leather effecto, floor de tobac, the spice rose, and there's one called um, I think metallic oud or so. I'm thinking about picking up metallic oud. Um, that's the closest one available right now that I feel like I can buy and I would wait for my magic and the other ones to come Wonderful Tonka is another one on my radar, but I really have been loving this house I love the bottle. The fragrances are very unique. It's beautiful It's like you're getting like really good quality and that whole unique niche smell you No know, niche fragrances be giving you a, like the, With the <laughs> when you smell them, you're like wait wait what? And, um, but theirs is so beautifully done, so wearable, and I've been obsessed. Now, the next fragrance I'm putting on my um, November tray. This is subject to change because once Istanbul comes, I'm going to park this one. And Mashumaro, I would have added, but ciao. Hmm. But I thought about it. The weather here is so crazy. It's so crazy. Like, it's cool and it's hot. Like, we, the day will start off at like 52 and then we're like 88. Like, I'm like, how am I going to do this? I need the weather to be like in the 40s and 50s steady so I can wear Mashumaro. So I debated between Mashumaro and Crush On Me by Unique Luxury, which one I need to put on um, November tray. And I think I kind of went with Crush On Me. This is patchouli, like patchouli, <laughs> patchouli <laughs> and um, caramel. And this is marshmallow and incense. Like, I love how they do it. Like, they get a really deep, dark, twisted note, and then they just throw a gourmand on it. So, it's like my kind of gourmand. I really like it. So, if the weather starts to get really cold towards the end of the month, I'll bring my shumaro out. But for right now, I think I will put Crush on Me. I will put that on um, November. But once Istanbul comes, it's parking. Istanbul is going to park it. It's going to park it. And I'm thinking, should I add Love Don't Be Shy? Because I don't know what is going on, why I'm liking it. I hated Love Don't Be Shy the first time I smelt it. I said, is this what y'all say Rihanna smell like? I don't know. I don't see it. And now I'm like, I see it. <laughs> but 
that ensemble oh i need it i need it now the next fragrance on my november tray is a fragrance i have not used in a long time and i think it's because it's not tall enough and it's at the back so i keep forgetting it but then i really love this fragrance like the first time i smelt it it was a love at first sniff and i bought it on the spot this is a jasmine and honey fragrance from my only fragrance from the harmonist and this is called moon glory I love this. It's like jasmine, honey, and vanilla. This is so beautiful. And, and I'm happy that I have a new bottle because the one I had had a faulty atomizer. And I thought it was because the atomizers were shitty. I didn't know it was a bad batch. And it broke and they gave me a new one. And ever since then, I just put it back and I forgot. And now when I smell it, I put it on me. The honey in here is so like... Mm. I love honey. Hey, honey. This, I, I'm like, I have not worn you. Why? <laughs> Why am I not wearing her? The M Moon Glory by the Harmonist is beautiful. It was a love at first sniff for me. So I have not worn her in a long time. And I'm bringing her out in November because I need to wear her. When I wear her, I overspray her. I'm already smelling it. Out of everything I've put on me, to be honest, I have to be, I have to keep it real. It has overpowered Kamutra because Kamutra is not bold, but it is very wearable. This just took over everything and um, I love it. So Moon Glory is being added to um, November. I cannot make it through um, the month of November without pulling out my new fave that I see this is another fragrance that I thought was okay when I first smelt it because I mean I do have oud fragrances in my collection so I was like oh instead of getting this maybe I need oud silk mood and then I kept playing with the sample clearing the sample and then one day was like it hit <laughs> it just hit like I'm like what I love this this is like my new when I think of like me signature like oh what's your signature scent oh Queen of Silk by Creed. There's just something bougie <laughs> about it. You know, when you say it, it sounds like it's very bougie. Now I'm adding Queen of Silk to the tray because I think this is the fragrance that I'm going to wear to my fragrance events. Shameless plug is coming November 16th at Amir Wood in Dallas, Texas, Richardson, to be precise. So, yes. Oh my God. I can't believe the day is almost here. Uh, and it's sold out. Ah. Uh, <sighs> I may run away that day. I may not be available. <coughs> hmm. I needed a drink because I started to <laughs> breathe heavy. I needed a drink. Okay. The next fragrance for my November tray is um Starlight from um Zerzhov. This is a cardamom bomb. This fragrance smells like an elegant lady. And then I feel like she's not that nice because she's rich. She's a... <laughs> and, oh, hello. And she knows she's fabulous. So when she walks in, she's like, who are these people? This is so gorgeous. And um, it's like a warm and spicy cardamom bomb. I love it. And... um. I'm going to be adding this. I feel like I need to put this on a little bit. I have yet to wear this outside. And um, as I just smelt it, I'm like, should I wear this for my event? Let's actually do a video like, what should I wear to my event? Wait a minute. This is in the running, okay? Cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon. I smell the cinnamon. Cloves, almond, amber, and cedar. So we're going to put this with Queen of Silk. And I need to do like a mini video of what should I wear for my fragrance event. What should I wear <laughs> on the 16th? Oh, okay. This is getting tough because I am considering it. There was another fragrance that um I was actually thinking about. We'll get there. The next fragrance on my tray, I was torn between Rouge Sare and this, but I decided to go with this one because I was craving a rose and oud vibe. And this is Rose Omiyad from Atelier des Ors. This is rose, it's oud, but then there's brown sugar. Whenever I smell this, I feel like it smells like a Dubai queen. Like a, a queen. Money. Ah, this is really good. And no, I'm I'm like struggling not to add it to the um, fragrance event pile, like the fragrances I need to wear. So um, I am bringing her out 
like I said, I struggle between her and um, Rousseau to put on the list, but I think that maybe um, I love Rousseau in uh, November. And sometimes I like to pull her in February and March where it's still cold. And I, that's when I love my rose and oud too. But I went to Rose Omeya because I have not talked about Rose Omeya in a while. I've not reached for her in a long time. So I decided to like pull her and I'm looking at my dent. I think that Rose Omeya might have the biggest dent more than Rose Saray. But I love Rose Omeya and um, she is being added to November. Two more fragrances to go. The next one on my list is Overture from the House of Zerjov. The reason I put this is because I actually have been wearing this. Out of all the fragrances that I talked about, this is one fragrance that I feel like I have been wearing. This and Crystal Saffron and um, Queen of Silk. Overture is one of my favorites, Zerjov. Here you're getting Fig. Oh, I'm in my Fig era now. It's Fig and Incense. I love, like when I smell it, I'm like, what did they put in here? This is so good. And I've been loving Overture, so that's why I put her out. Muse, I for some reason with Muse, I love to wear Muse. Like in December, January, I was feeling Muse. And that's a juicy fragrance. So this year, I am really... I really want to have like a divide. I want to have like winter deep dark stuff. And I also want to have like fruity stuff. Because I want to try what Chris Collins said. He told me that I should wear citrus in the fall and see what he do in the fall and winter that it lasts longer it projects better and there's something about the citrus with the cold weather that just makes it like a cool you know like citrus you're getting like a fruity drink but it feel, makes it cool rather than hot so i want to try that and once the weather gets cold i will give you guys a, pro <laughs> a progress report now the last fragrance on my um november tray it is the shameless plug. <laughs> this is the um, fragrance that I created. It's my combo that I, you know, I did my, at the Amer Oud scent bar, you know, I mixed and mastered <laughs> and this was it. And look at my dent. Like I have been using it. So this is a testament. And a couple of people have smelt it and they're like, oh, this is nice. I'm like, really? <laughs> Cause, and then I look at the dent, I'm like, oh. I have been using this. This is going to be available November 16th at the event. This will be available at the event for purchase. And um, there are a few people that have asked me about it that, you know, don't live in, in Dallas that can't make it. So, um, well, so there's a possibility that they may have this available on their website. Fingers crossed. Pray for your girl. <laughs> it's a possibility. So we're just going to put it out in the universe. The Lord's going to do it because, you know, won't he do it but this is going to be i named it after the event because the event is called habibi night so i'm like okay let me just name it habibi because for me it's tied to the event so whenever i smell it i think of my first fragrance event so that's what it's going to be called but because it doesn't have this middle eastern vibe i struggle with the name with it because if you hear habibi you know, night you'll be thinking that you're getting like a Middle Eastern rose and oud. This is not that. This is soft. It's girly. There's the one thing I will tell you that is in here is there's vanilla platyfolia. Their inspired version of vanilla platyfolia is in here. So it's just soft. It's mindful. It's demure. This is not a fragrance that you would think that I would like put out. But I love it because I use this to layer with everything. And, and I really, really enjoy it. So... This is being added to my November tray because I use it and I'm hoping to top up at the event because so, I'm going to need a full bottle. So I'm going to have to get a full bottle at... <sighs> Hello. This is so nice. It's so soft. It's like a it's like a soft life queen fragrance. I'm like, well, yes, yeah, this is my November tray. I told you it was heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy on it, okay? <laughs> so let me know if you have any of these fragrances that I talked about. I know you don't have all of them because um, you don't have this one and you have not smelt it. So you don't know what it smells like. So this one, I think you ain't got it. So <laughs> but let me know. As always, all the fragrances, well, except this one <laughs> right now that I talked about will be linked in the description below, including the dupe for Vani Planifolia will be linked in the description below. Like I always say, in all things, what do we do? We're going to add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, we're going to add glitter. And when all else fails and your back is against the ropes, your back is against the wall, what we're going to do, we're going to 
I'm gonna use this one that nobody has smells before because this is me. This is Habibi. <laughs> Habibi. Hab oh, there's this new song by Olamide and Ross called Habibi. Habibi. Mm. Oh, we need to play that that day. So um, I need to watch the video too. But yeah, I'm going to spray Habibi. <laughs> and I'm going to add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in another video. You know why you're going to see me in another video? Because I'm about to record a tag video. Because our beautiful sis, Roxanne's Retreat, tagged me in a video. And I'm about to answer to the call. <laughs>